Here's our deep fried spring roll, kind of, sort of. You take cabbage, you take pork, maybe some shrimp, some seasonings, mm -hmm. and you can make an egg roll fairly simply. Delicious, too. You can go to the store and get you some wrappers. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to that. So first thing we got to do is let's get our pork going. And we very simply take about a pound of pork. So the way we did this the other day is we took our pork, and we're gonna take a little fresh ginger, and we're just gonna grate a little bit of fresh ginger in it, and some fresh garlic. We're just gonna press some garlic into that, probably two cloves. So just a little bit of fresh ginger. There you go. A little garlic press, I find these to be absolutely wonderful. Is that enough garlic for you? Yeah, that's right. plenty. Put a little salt, a little pepper, a little bit of soy sauce. Just a little bit. That's just for seasoning. And a little bit of sesame oil. Yeah, it's a nice flavor. Mix it up like a meatloaf. That smells good. It does smell good. So if you notice, we got a lot of cast iron out. We got a wok here, wok there, skillet here. That's a cast iron kind of night, isn't it? Yes, not? it is. So we're gonna put our pork over here, which smells really good, by the way. It tastes good the too. The garlic and the ginger. A little bit of sesame oil, a little bit of soy. We're heating up our oil over here. So we're gonna let that cool for just a minute, then we're gonna combine that with our coleslaw mix. And then we're gonna pop it in our oil and you're gonna see something special. Yeah. Now explain to us, if you will, what you do. You have a little dish here. What's that dish for? I do. I have a little dish right here of, and it's half flour. I have a tablespoon of flour, a tablespoon of water, mm -hmm. equal parts. And that's gonna kinda of be our, our paste as we do the It's your glue. Oil. So let's go ahead and start putting these together. I'm gonna put a couple shrimp in here as well, just for a little extra protein. Now shrimp don't have to be cooked a whole lot. Most people overcook shrimp. The way we're doing this, it'll be just fine. Just enough cooking to get them nice and pink. And it's fresh shrimp, you just can't beat it. Now it depends on how many people you have, how many egg rolls you're gonna make. It's gonna make a lot of egg rolls. <laughs> we probably won't make all of these, but that's probably, that's probably six cups. You know, I can put this of in cabbage, the fridge. Of grated cabbage, yeah. I did that before. Yeah, you can put this in the fridge. And just make them, make them all week long. So when I was frying that pork up, you'll notice that I cut it up into smaller pieces. You don't want great big hunks in there. All right, where do we go from here? All right, ice cream scoop, because it gets you the perfect amount. Gotcha. Same standardized yes. amount every time. Yes, so it kind of gets you the same perfect amount. We're going to start with the corners. I'm going to flip it over. Fold, fold. There we go. And I'm going to use my glue. I'm going to use this, my flour and water for my glue here. There's one. Ready? Yep. And there's a beautiful. Those do look good. Homemade, fresh egg roll. Crisp, tasty. Get your little duck sauce. Mm. There's four more. So we're gonna set these out on a plate and let them cool. And then we're gonna try one. Now typically these are supposed to be an appetizer. That's right. But when you have one, two, three, four, five. Eight. They usually give you just one each. How many we got here? But you know what? It's kind of a guilty pleasure. You know, you know, you can eat as many as you want. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Usually you just get one. I'll see if they're cool. Oh enough. wow! Let's try. Go ahead. I'm excited. No double dipping. Mm. Mm. Wow! I got some shrimp. Mm. Mm. That is as good as any egg roll I've gotten anywhere. It's really good. Better. I know where everything came from. That's really good.